Well, how's it going, you guys? Okay, this is gonna be a quick little video answering one of my top questions that I've got over the past couple of days, and that is, Heather, how do you slice your bread? How do you get your slices so even? And so, I'm gonna show you. that. Those questions came from a video that I made uh, showing the lock and lock container, which is the container I'm now using for my Pullman pan uh, bread, which is right here. This is a loaf of it right here that we use for sandwich bread. This is just a regular loaf. Um, that you could also use for sandwich bread. But this is the Pullman pan the kids like to use for sandwiches. Now, before I show you, because I honestly, I free, uh, I freehand uh, slicing up my bread. When I was starting to learn how to slice bread, however, I used one of these. And this is a, so that's what this looks like. And um, this particular one has thicker slices on one end and thinner slices on the other. It has a um, movable board so you can get whatever kind of, you know, thickness that you want, make your slices, and um, and then it folds up. It's really easy. It's very convenient. It folds right up like so. You just push it in. It folds in on itself, and then you can kind of just tuck this part in like that and then you can store it right in your cabinet. Now, I haven't used that bamboo slicer in quite a few years, um, but it's great if you're new to slicing bread and um, you have issues with um, cutting you know, straight slices. Uh, I know another trick uh, many people use is an electric um, carving knife. I've heard those work really well. I've never tried one, but I heard those work well. So, you know, uh, do whatever works for you. And, um, but I'm gonna show you how I slice bread here. I'm gonna try to get you aimed here. All right, so let me just scoot this loaf over and hopefully you guys can see that. I have you on a new tripod now. You're a little taller. So, and then I'm going to show you how I store it in the, um, in the lock and lock container. Okay. Well, let's go. So then all I do is I just straighten it back out like so and then very tight push it very tight here I'll move this bread here over here and show you how it fits into the Pullman lock and lock pan like so nice and neat okay so when the bread's in you're gonna see it fits pretty tight. So this uh, little slicer preserver um, isn't going to fit in there when you have a full sliced loaf of bread in there. Let me zoom you over it so you guys can take a look at the slices. Okay. <laughs> I know so many people were like, there is no way you slice that bread by hand. Yeah, I slice it by hand. Trust me, when you slice enough loaves of bread, you can do it too. It's it's gonna be like second nature to you. Um, once this bread starts um, getting used, 
you know, say there's three slices gone, you'll be able to put in the slice protector. It does have a bottom to it. Do you see it's got, it's got one on this side too. What you wanna do is tuck your bread underneath that. And what that does is it fits the plastic divider right up against that slice of bread so it does not get stale at all. It's wonderful. And then you'll store it like that. Um, but until <laughs> a couple slices get used, um, we're just gonna keep that to the side. And so there you have it, you guys. There is a whole loaf of sandwich bread for my kids. And I'll just keep this right on the, on the top of it. And I will leave that right on the counter for them. <laughs> and uh, that's for them to make their peanut butter toast in their morning or uh, fried egg sandwiches, peanut butter and jelly, uh, ham sandwich, turkey sandwich, whatever they want to make. So, um, but I will leave a link to the Pullman pan, which is over here. For those of you who are interested in getting a pan, that will make the perfect sandwich bread. This is what you want. It's called a Pullman pan. It has a lid, so you would put your uh, bread dough in there. This one's dirty because I just used it. And then put the top on and that's how you'll bake it. That's how you get a condensed square loaf. So there's the Pullman pan. This is the lock and lock Pullman pan uh, lock and lock saver. And then I will also put a link down below to the bamboo um, slicer that uh, I used to use and uh, I, I find it's very helpful if you've never sliced bread before, if you're new to it. I will also try to find a link to the Rated Bread Knife. Um, it's my favorite. I have two of them. I like them so much. Uh, I don't know if this will be on Amazon, but uh, if I can't find a link to it, I will just give you a link to the Rated website. And I hope this was helpful to you in some way. <laughs> So trust me when I say, you guys, the more bread you bake, um, the more you slice it, the easier it will be. And before you know it, you'll be able to slice up a loaf of bread quickly, um, freehand, and it'll be super easy for you. So, all right, guys, with that, I'm about to go make Sunday dinner, <laughs> and uh, I'll be seeing you guys soon. All right, bye, guys.